Last time on Trials of Mana. Uh, I cannot get enough of Gorman backhanding Charlotte. Just like <laughs> suck up blankets and store them. <laughs> I, I mean, kind of. I've watched. Episode 22 Secret of Lamp Bloom Woods. Welcome back to Trials of Mana, puppers. All right, in the last part, we got Luna. <laughs> We got the spirit of Luna. Speaking of Luna, if you hear any weird noises, yeah. uh, your sister actually got our cats like this bag of toys yes. for Christmas. And uh, Luna is having a ball. Yes. <laughs> Luna's being a happy baby girl. Yes. So if you hear any weird sounds, it's probably the cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's check up on that moonstone. It's in Chart Moon Tower. Mm. Ah, there it is. Hey, you. Uh, How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Kevin definitely would be a Chandler. It's so strange to see the moon. No, that wasn't Chan no, Chandler. No, that was Joey. Joey. Dang it. Chandler was more of the sassy sure one, the quick sassy yeah. one. He was the you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't. I never watched Friends extensively. Like I've seen episodes here either. and there. And I know the most part their personalities. Where is the Goramon man? Friends was something I watched because my sister really liked oh, Friends. That's just like, well, along with my sister, she yeah. plays games that I like. I'm gonna watch shows that she likes. Yeah. And that's the toss up. Friends and uh, what was it? Family Feud. Full House. Okay. <laughs> I mean, same thing. <laughs> blows my mind that Bob Saget It's like a dirty like old a, man. Yeah, got very dirty and raunchy. Yeah. But like he raised generations on like America's Funny Stone videos. And like the wholesomeness. House. And he's like, I'm tired of being Danny. Yeah. And he just went super gross. Yes, he went super vulgar and super just like, Ugh. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, because I, I get it. You don't want to be stereotyped as like Danny Tanner. Mm-hmm. There are other ways to not be Danny Tanner than do a nasty stand-up. He was just sick of the wholesomeness that yeah. like, he regurgitated it and was... Just went the, off the deep yeah, end. went the opposite direction. Guys, I mean, like, John Stamos kind of just disappeared. Yeah, I guess so. He was sexiest man alive, then he got some wrinkles, and he's like, oh, I gotta go. I know, then he, like... <laughs> receded into the darkness of the yep. forest like and as for the other guy he apparently was not the guy from the dumb and dumber movies no i definitely thought he was so, so did i what happened to him he disappeared and then returned for the reunion in fuller house oh he is in fuller house yeah i'm just like oh he's back but yeah he, he vanished hmm because I know, like, the little girl that played Stephanie was, like, that was a weird noise. The little girl that played Stephanie was, like, addicted to meth yeah. for a while. She had a drug addiction. Uh, the woman who played DJ she was, was in married... a lot of Lifetime movies. Yeah, she married a hockey player. Okay. And she did a lot of, like, hilarious commercials. Oh, okay. Of, like, have you ever tried to peel an egg? And it's just... <laughs> Like, the most ridiculous person that you would never peel an egg like. Okay. She was in a lot of those. Huh. Those commercials. Are you tired of all of your Tupperware flying out of your cabinet? I do not remember any of those commercials. Yeah. Were they, like, television commercials or YouTube ads? They were, like, QVC, 3 o'clock in the morning commercials. Oh, shit. Yeah, like, only Insomniacs watch. Well, all right, then. I'll show you something. They're pretty funny. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Freaking kitty. <laughs> she is having the best day ever. It's Christmas! I Again! I know. I absolutely love that, like, we've been trying to help her lose weight. Mm -hmm. And on the package, on the back of the package for the cat toys, it says, promotes, uh, promotes active lifestyle and weight loss. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl! This is it! This is your chance! <laughs> Yeah, Vixie looks amazing. Yeah, yeah Vixie lost... lost quite a bit of weight. Vixie um, is uh, my family dog. Yeah. She was the, she... the new puppy when I took Wesker. 
and she was the, a little sausage. Yeah, she was a little yeah. chonker. She was very cute, but she was she was a, a big girl. Mm -hmm. She lost a lot of weight. Yeah. In a healthy way. They were exercising her and feeding her better food yeah. and stuff like that. She tried Jenny. She did. <laughs> <laughs> she called Jenny. She's like Christy Alley. Aww. <laughs> Big girl slim for about two more movies and she's gonna get big again. I know. Poor baby girl. She's gonna be like after the holidays. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wesker's hacking I, up his beef jerky his that beef he got jerky. for Christmas. <laughs> Our animals are gross. <laughs> they make so many gross noises. Yeah, I won't deny that. But uh, we're also gonna have a few changes because we got another microphone. Yes! So we're going to try recording from two mics at the same time. That yeah. way we're not both sharing the same mic microphone to where one is prominent and the other one is kind of yeah. off in the distance. Yeah, always <laughs> kind of like fading away somewhere. And I think it'll help too because I... I, don't I know. Dark. That's not a toy. She just stole my bottle of ginger ale. <laughs> She's like, I'm on a toy high! <laughs> She's like, this is a toy, and this is a toy, and this is a toy. Uh -oh. <laughs> Lasker's like, speaking of toys. Hi. <laughs> puppers. Did you like your beef jerky? Merry Christmas to the little puppers. He's like, I'm gonna lay down for a little bit. All right, so when we first came here into the Dusk Moon Forest, we kind of just like blazed through right to the boss but didn't get all the chests and even forgot little cactus. Oh, little cactus. But it's okay. At the time of this recording, we're working on that little cactus. Yes. We, good lord. I mean. You're working I'll, on yeah. the um, little cactus sculpture. Yes. Tell so, us about the experience. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Please tell us, ha <laughs> uh, So I kind of sculpted an armature using heavy duty wire and aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. And then I put air dry clay over top and I like sculpted his little features and his arms and everything like that. And uh, unfortunately, I had never used air dry clay before and the shrink percentage is very high. Mm -hmm. So he ended up with a lot of cracks and everything because the clay shrank down past the size of the armature. Right. Um, but I was able to fill up some of those cracks with some uh, heavy duty liquid glue. Oh, can't you magic rope here? Shit. <laughs> I gotta manually find the exit. Isn't this considered like a dungeon? Yeah. Yeah. But I used some industrial glue yeah, to... Right back to Chart Moon Tower, so not that way. Aww. <laughs> That's to always fun. To fill up some of the cracks. I'm gonna take a, a better look at him mm -hmm. and see if some of the larger cracks need like maybe a plaster. Okay. If not, he's going to get spray painted um, all a base color so that I can paint him. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. He's going to be a little jewelry holder. Can't wait, can't wait. So yeah, yeah so you'll see a... It'll be a quick video, you know, We're only only a couple together. minutes. Um, the process of making it certainly didn't take just a couple minutes. No. No, it, it takes a, a while for that clay to dry. Yeah, you said that. You're just like, okay, now I wait for it to dry. Okay, so a couple hours, about a week. Oh, <laughs> oh. well, okay. Well, I mean, it's even like that for firing clay. Like your clay, when you fire it, has to be completely dry. If there is any air, oh, Milo's sleeping in the booth. That's cute. I saw like a paw stick it out. <laughs> I was just like, please don't be dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the thought when he's laying down. I'm like, please don't be dead. Um, he lies down with his eyes fucking open. I know, he it's started like... sleeping with his eyes open and it's really creepy. Um, but yeah, whenever you fire clay, if it's not completely dry, it'll explode in the kiln. Yikes! And it explodes with such ferocity that it hits everything else in the kiln and breaks everything else in the kiln. Oh, that's So fun. if you're firing as a group, you're going to be pissed off if someone's right. bad cup broke your pot. Like, Oof. yeah. That happened a lot in college because we all had to share the kiln because it's just so expensive to run like they wouldn't run it if it wasn't full oh wow okay mm -hmm. so but like the the clay would dry for at least a month before they'd put it in the kiln got you wow mm -hmm. how um 
dangerous is that? If it explodes in the kiln? Yeah. It's not going to hurt anything outside of the kiln. Okay, because, so the kiln is yeah. like sealed? So, oh, absolutely. It gets to several thousand degrees. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, okay. it's it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's all insulated. Like, around will get really warm, mm -hmm. but, you know, nothing like nothing around it will catch on fire. It's so heavily insulated. And then it had, the one that we had, um, had like a, a dry seal lock. Okay. And then it was padlocked shut. Okay. So that no one could like wander in and try to open the kiln while it was on. Gotcha. Well, how about that? Yeah, so it would take the kiln, you would load it up, it would take about a day to heat, and mm -hmm. then it would fire for a day, and then it would take about a week to cool down. Well, how about that? Yeah. All right, so we're in our next destination. This is Lamp Bloom Woods. And we go here at night because it's very important to navigate these areas at night. Because at night, the flowers glow. Hmm. And you use the glowing flowers to navigate. So it's kind of like a maze or a labyrinth in a way. Oh, I remember this part, yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going to use Luma. Just moon vine. Luna. My powers Luna. Luna. Girl. Seal the path. She's got a very Karen hairstyle. <laughs> she does. May I speak to the manager? I know, she's like, um, can I talk to your manager? Sick. Surprisingly, I didn't deal with that during the holiday rush. Yeah, I didn't get any, like... I mean, we got people that were kind of... I got people that were mean. bitchy, opinionated, yeah, but like not, not necessarily like... This like, is cheaper here, but I didn't have a full-on carrot. Yeah. Same. Which I was really thankful for. Alright, you closer birds. Get out of my face. And with that, peace has returned. Mm -hmm. I like those ones. I like the little heart mushrooms. Mushrooms. They're cute. These guys have some mushroom. I've like slowly become almost obsessed. I don't want to say obsessed, but like I look at them a lot. Okay. Of mushroom art. Oh. And just like different types of mushrooms. I don't know why. I don't know when it happened. Yeah, that's kind of random, but alright. Yeah. But apparently it's like this whole community in the art world of just like mushroom art. Okay. Yeah, it's it's weird, but it's it's pretty cool. Like a lot of people that are like painting different types of mushrooms. Yeah, that's interesting. Or there's one artist. I wish I could remember their name. Mm -hmm. Um, but I followed their page on Pinterest. Where they do mushroom photography. Mushroom photography? Yeah. And some of the things that they photograph are stunning. Like they are so pretty. Wow. Of like just different types of mushrooms. The stuff you find on Pinterest. Yeah. Old Pinterest. Yeah. Travels. <laughs> I'm that kind of girl. <laughs> oh, we have a so if you eat salad from a mason jar. You know where I got that idea from. I ate salad from a Cool Whip jar. Cool Whip? Cool Whip case. If you have a set of salad bowls and they'll say Cool Whip on the side, <laughs> you might be a redneck. Oh my god, that was growing up. My grandma refused to throw away anything. Like, I had salad bowls with Cool Whip on the side. Yeah. But I also used, like... Jelly jars. Yeah. For like for cups. orange juice mm -hmm. and cups. Yep. Like there were these oh, we Disney did. jelly yes, jars. Yes, we, we did the like same thing Winnie with like the Pooh there was like Pumbaa and Timon. Yep. The yeah. Lion King. Oh yeah, we did the same thing. Those were our cups. And uh, yeah, when we finished the jam, we had nice little cups for breakfast. Yes, we did the exact same thing. Those were our breakfast cups. Or in some OJ. My mom juice. wasn't so much big on like keeping um, like plastic containers from like Cool Whip or mm -hmm. sour cream, but my grandma was, and it was always a guess. <laughs> it was a gamble when you reached in the fridge if you were gonna actually get Cool Whip, mm -hmm. or if you were gonna get chili. Wow. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So the secret here, the secret of Lamp Bloom Woods is the glowing red flowers mark your destination to where you gotta go. So you follow the red flowers. Follow the fire flowers. These guys, uh, the butterflies. Why, why, no, wait. why is it follow full of the spiders? spiders? Why couldn't it be full of the butterflies? 
I still think like Rufus' best line delivery was when Hagrid gets Follow out. the spiders! Follow the spiders! If Hagrid ever gets out of Azkaban, I'll, I'll kill, kill him. him! That was the most genuine he's ever been <laughs> in that entire role. Oh my god. I think out of all of them, he's the one that went on to do like the most filming. Did he really? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen a goddamn other film. He's in a lot of like TV shows. There's one on Netflix right now that I really want to watch because it looks like it'd be funny, and it's okay. called Sick Note. Sick Note, okay. Where he plays a character, and it's all in the trailer. I haven't watched it yet, so there's no spoilers. Write a notebook, and the person gets sick. No, no, <laughs> that'd be funny. Right, um, write their name. They get COVID. Oh my god. No, it's he thinks that he has cancer. Oh wow. And he tells everyone that he has cancer, and then he finds out he doesn't. But he kind of rolls with it because everyone's a lot nicer to him. Uh. Um, yeah. It looks like it's really funny. It's it's a British TV show. So I'm expecting like a certain type of humor with it. Yeah. Well, shit. But I haven't watched it yet. So if anyone watching has watched it and you like it, let me know. Cool. You said it's a Netflix or is it like yeah. a different streaming it's, service? It's on Netflix, but okay. I don't know if it's a Netflix original. Gotcha. Because uh, Daniel Radcliffe, he's in like this new trailer called like The Lost City with Sandra Bullock. And mm. I mean, he he's, he's done a I lot too. Is that the dude from Twenty One Jump Street, Channing Tatum? Maybe. No idea. I tried. <laughs> I I mean, I've seen Twenty One Jump Street, but I I can't recall. Like the only thing I yeah has Jonah Hill and someone who's either like Channing Tatum or Tom Hardy. <laughs> I was gonna say the only thing I can remember Chan Chan that guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> the only thing I can remember him in was um, with the movie with Amanda Bynes, where she pretends to be a boy. She's oh, the man. Shit. She's the man. Okay. Before she went nuts. I mean, <laughs> you you rewatch that show and you're just like, I completely see I, why she's yeah. nuts. After watching, I tried to rewatch the Amanda show and I was like, holy fuck, no wonder she lost her mind. Like, bruh. What would you say was like the main issue with it? Check out these things. It just like, I don't know if it was the type of humor. Okay. But, like, the disingenuineness of it. So, like, she always ends the show with some weird catchphrase. Okay. And it's never like, all right, see you guys next time. It's always like, okay, I have to go wash my baboon. Bye. And it's just, like, weird. Mm -hmm. And it's different every single time. It's like, okay, I have to go drive my car through the window. Like, wasn't it's that just, her shtick from, like, all that, though? Was just being, like, way out there and saying the most absurd things. I don't, people being, like, like, I don't know, but it wasn't even funny things. It was just weird. Mm -hmm. Um, And even, like, some of the, her characters, I'm just like, why? Because <laughs> there are a few funny ones. Like, the one that I remembered the most was Maha. Maha! Okay. <laughs> But some of the other ones, I'm just like, Jesus Christ. No wonder you raised a generation of messed up kids. <laughs> like, Ouch. I mean, some some of it is bad. Getting all Christian mom here. You raise a generation of tyrants! No, not even tyrants, but there was like, like a suicide skit. Mm. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's poorly aged. Well, this is aged. Yeah, some of it I was just like, this is Don't weird. Don't mind me, I'm just slaughtering caterpies. <laughs> die, die, die! They, oh, they do you look poison. strongly like the Pokemon. Yeah. They're actually very annoying because they do not just poison, but paralyzation. Uh, They're basically the spider enemies of this yeah. game. To where it's just like, we have a poisonous spite, we also can paralyze you. All in all, it's a good time for <gasps> us. Okay. Little cactus. Yeah, overall, the show, I just... Because, I mean, I didn't really watch it a lot when I was a kid, but I remembered it. Okay. So I was like, oh, I wonder if it, like, holds up. Because there are some of the kids' shows that we watched that, like, really held up against the course of time. Right. And then some that I was just like, oh, this aged like milk. Ugh. That one 
aged like already old milk. Like it started on the sell by date. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, damn. Yeah. But there's hope because you're also watching uh, Drake and Josh. Oh, I finished Drake and Josh. Oh, you finished Drake. That and one Josh. also aged weird. Weird. Okay. I wouldn't say poorly because if anything, Josh got way better. Okay. Over time. Drake, however, I forgot how much I didn't like him. Okay. Like not just because of his womanizing, but just like him as a person. Like he's just a bad person. <laughs> he was the auto rocket. Of Drake and Josh. Ah. Like, he just doesn't develop. Okay. Oh. There are headstones here. Oh, there's a show my parents. Yeah. Oh, you gave it away. We are just about to get to that cutscene. We'll get there. What? But explain everything. Oh my god, am I Charlotte? Maybe. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, both of Reese's parents are dead. <laughs> I'd rather be her. That's the connection you make! <laughs> I think everyone has, like, parent issues. Kevin just has a dad. Charlotte lost her parents. Reese lost her parents. Reese lost her parents. Duran lost his father. I think he lost his mother, too. Because didn't she pass away from depression after Loki died and he had to stay with his aunt? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So Duran lost his parents. Hawkeye, who, who knows? I know. There's no. He's just like I'm a drifter. Um. I like this area. Flowerberg Dior. Yeah. Yeah, this is a really. I want to grow aesthetic. big, pretty flowers like that that eat people who shouldn't be there. Oh, oh my. Okay. <gasps> like Audrey's. I just want a yard full of Audrey's. So basically, you wanted to take part in the original ending of Little yes. Shop of Horrors. Where I want, Audrey has like a monopoly on so like spawning I wanna have, little Audrey's yes, I take have over the world. A yard full of little Audrey's mm -hmm. and a sign right outside the yard that says no soliciting or else. And then anyone who dares enter is just eaten by we'll Audrey's. Call this one Tui and this one Three and this one Fourie. <laughs> Fivey, Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Eighty! <laughs> Eighty will be the cutest one. Daddy, you sound like this. <laughs> oh, I always sound like a little old man. If you want a rationale, it isn't very hard <laughs> to see. No, no, no. <laughs> Feed me Shemo. Feed me all night long. <coughs> That's right. Or until 8.30. Coughing his lungs out. Feed me Seymour. Feed me till I'm big and and strong. Strong, yeah, str strong. That's it. Yeah. For anyone who's been watching, my cough and my wheeze stopped when I was on steroids, and then is minimal, but came back it after the steroids dead. were done. I usually so. hear it at night. Get yeah, this guy, you. the Elfin Elder. Who are you? The, the eyebrows. The eyebrows, though. Mm. And that beard. You do not he remember. needs Miracle on 34th Beard Street. <laughs> it does look really nice. I Thank you. I'm to touch it. Thank Ooh. you. Yeah, I what do you think? Oh, you, uh. want, you want to explain to the viewers so we don't sound so provocative? <laughs> Why well, should we? <laughs> Popcorn is recommended for 13 and up. This is not the Alice playthrough. <laughs> I repeat, this is not the Alice playthrough. No, I um, I bought him kind of like a, a joke gift, but not really. It was mainly a joke because I didn't know if you would be able to use it because I know you have sensitive skin. Mm. And it's it's called Miracle on 30, 34th Beard Street. Mm -hmm. And it was just like a, a beard conditioner and like beard oils and, yep. and stuff to make a luxurious beard, which you already have. But now it just looks really pretty because we like trimmed it up today and you oiled it and... I have to get you a comb because I thought it came with a comb and it didn't. How he has fallen to an incurable illness. Hmm, I see. I did not think. I if you ever grow a beard like that, we're still trimming your eyebrows. Light again. <laughs> okay. It must be because it looks like a mini mustache on his forehead. On the world beyond. It does. <laughs> He's got a double stash. 
Yes, that face child. is in a Zelda Divide game on a tree. <laughs> like the, the, the huge the eyebrows, the Much big pain. mustache. Well, I know, like, that look also is pretty typical of, like, the green man, oh, which okay. is pagan imagery. Gotcha. But they they normally, like, turn into leaves. Gotcha. Oh, wow. Their love was I don't know important. what they're supposed to be on that tree. I'll have to look back at it. <laughs> I'm like, are they leaves or yeah, do they it, legit just have like a mustache? I mean, it's really, really common for people to like carve eyebrows. carve the green man into trees and okay. hedges and, and things like that. Because he's supposed to be like the spirit of the forest. Oh, so like Mother Nature? Or? Kind of. But he... Specifically the forest. Whereas Mother Nature embodies like yeah, all... Yeah, it's specifically like trees. Gotcha. Um, shrubs, flowers, but not like everything. Okay. But he's depicted a few different ways. Sometimes he's really happy and he's got this big smile. Sometimes mm-hmm. he's asleep and then sometimes he's almost demonic in a way. Like Ooh. there's blood on him. He's very angry. He's got big fangs. Yikes. Like, yeah, he's pretty scary. Do you think the Ents are just are after him from Lord of the Rings? It could the be. Big tree, tree yeah, bear. it definitely could be. Yes, I'll tell you the story. Let me see. Green man images. Oh, see, there we go. Story of uh, Charlie's mama and papa. Oops. Said that. <laughs> oh, I should not have said that. Shouldn't so, like, see, sometimes he's like super happy. Okay. He's not feeling too happy there. No, he's not. Okay. So that's what that those images are. Mm-hmm. Very cool. I want to see if I can find an angry one. With all the dead and stuff. The first time I saw it, I was like, oh, shit! <laughs> uh, I put Green Man images angry, and it just came up with the Hulk. Ah! Well, I mean, it's not wrong. The grumpy green giant. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Eat your beans. From the northwest of Lampbloom Woods. If you borrow Luna's moon powers at night. I don't know, sometimes. Should let you it's, it's been some time. They were in a textbook that I had. Oh, sure. Okay. I know. I know. Wipe your tears, Charlotte. We have to continue Where our adventure. Do it, Charlotte. Do it for your dad, mom, and dad. We gotta save her grandpa. I won't. Grandpa. I'm doing fine. Wee wee. Now let's go find the vast elemental. Thanks for everything, Mr. Elder. Wow, it's kind of annoying when you're like, I'll come by it when I'm not looking for it, but as soon as I like search for it, I can't oh, yeah. find it. That's how it works. Because, I mean, there are some images of him being, like, angry, mm-hmm. but it doesn't have, like, the the bloodiness of it. Okay. Because most images, he's kind of happy. Because when you think angry, now I'm thinking of, like, the, oh, what was it called from the Witcher? The Lishin? Oh, the Leshy. Leshy, yeah. That was a cool thing. Yeah. I really... I kind of want to do a little bit of research on the Leshy. Okay. Because I like the idea of it. It kind of reminded me of a treant at, mixed with a dryad. Yeah. Which are like two completely different like forest entities. And um, they had like big old tentacles. And um, sort of like a stag-like face. <laughs> Uh oh. Sorry. So I, I'm looking up on my phone because I have zero uh, discipline. <laughs> and I just like Googled where is the Leshy from? And it says Leshy. Name? Leshy. Dates 2009. Killed by Sam Winchester. Location? Canton, Ohio. Occupation? Forest God. Oh God. <laughs> the Winchesters return. <laughs> All right. So uh, I oh, think in the next part. Slavic. Ooh, Slavic. Slavic. Neat. All right. In the next part, maybe we'll find that grumpy old green guy. Yes. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Toodles. Welcome.